There's a new symbol we have in the uh, 2009 standard, and that's continuous feature. Let me explain what that is, or have Scott explain that. All right, continuous feature. Uh, th this is what it's used for. It's used on, uh, on usually diameters that are all coaxial like this, and what they did is they just maybe have some grooves cut in it. Now, first, maybe before I talk about continuous feature, let's just look at it as just uh, one single feature here, one inch to one inch four thousandths. Now, Al already talked about the limits of size and what that controls. It controls the size and the form of that individual feature. So that entire feature has to lie within this one inch four thousandths boundary here. Now, what happens when you create uh, three different diameters here? You, you cut some grooves in there. Well, if you put some grooves in there, technically what they are is they're three separate diameters. And remember, size doesn't control the relationship between features. So just by calling it off like this, what you get is you get three separate controls. So you're going to check the form provisions on each one individually. So what this continuous feature is supposed to do is the continuous feature symbol is supposed to take all three diameters and treat them as a continuous feature. So now what you're getting then is all of them have to lie within the size and form boundary of one inch four thousandths. So what this is doing is this is just keeping the coaxiality between all three of these diameters. Now how they got around this in the 1994 standard is before what they did is they just used a position to keep the coaxiality. You just said three times and you put a diameter there and you said I want them positioned within a diameter of zero in MMC. So what that meant is it meant the same thing as this. You want them all, co all coaxial when they're at their maximum material condition. So these are two identical specifications you can use. Um, the continuous feature they kind of added in there just because they thought it was a little bit easier than putting that zero in MMC, which sometimes scared people away. All right, so let's take a look at something new. Now, here is a drawing with a plus minus tolerance that we call directly tolerance. And you know from past experience what you get is, is there's no relation between all of these different features. And uh, we, in the uh, ASME standard, what we're doing now is now encouraging more the use of profile. And if you'll notice that when you get to profile, profile has its own section before it was included with some of the other uh, tolerances. And now it has its own section. And you notice here, this part, so this is a plus minus type uh, or directly tolerance dimension. And this one here is now one that has geometric tolerance. And you notice all very clearly, you see how this is datum feature A, datum feature B, and datum feature C. And you see how they're all related. So everything is related, hooked together. We're uh, positioning holes, and then we're profiling surfaces.